actually the idea for the song first came when someone said to me, write a song for Harambe Stars. Uh -huh. This was in 1997, we were qualifying for the uh, Africa Cup of Nations. And then I started to do that, but I felt there was a much bigger thing to talk about because of what Kenya was going through in Africa at large. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What was the response that you got after the first song, um, the first song after the post-election violence rather? A lot of response came in. Did you feel some sort of responsibility there on? Did you even expect it? I did not expect it at all, you know. I think it, it's a good testament to if you write something very honestly, write something from a, from a position of uh, art always speaks very clearly right. to people's hearts and minds, you know. And so I had no idea what was going to happen, like I say. Someone suggested this song to me and said, write, write a song for Harambe Stars, mm -hmm. you know. And then, uh, um, and it's, uh, so you, 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 you respond and, and you write a thing and you hope that people are going to latch on to it. And they did that, and I'm very and, thankful you know, it, for that. It literally became almost second to the national anthem. I mean, well, if I could say so myself. But why remix it now? Because that's a new video that we just played, um, you know, some twists to that song. Why now? Well, right now, because we are 70 days or more uh, uh, to, to the, to the election. elections, uh -huh. and uh, I always feel it's, I, I want to participate in the political conversation without going into politics. Right. At the end of the day, I'm an artist, and that's what I'm going to be for the rest of my life. Uh -huh. uh, but we've also got a new record coming out, uh, a new album, and I wanted to sort of uh, preface that by, by sort of, you know, um, sort of uh, because we're in such a volatile time, to talk about this very important thing to us, mm -hmm. which is peace. Which is very important. What impact have you seen it have um, or, or on Kenyans in terms of, especially the youth, in terms of making sure that they're not used as tools of violence? You know, Michelle, it's interesting. I've, I've, when you play a song in a concert and people know the chorus, that's okay. Right. But when people know the verses, and even verse two, the know, entire song. The entire song. Just know the, the first line that, of verse one and the chorus in Exactly, and exactly. That's, that's a big moment. And I remember, I think we were playing a, a show at, um, in Babadogo at a, at, a, at, a, at a school there, and then kids, this was, at, I'm talking about, I think, 2009, 2010. Uh -huh. And these kids knew the, the, and I'm talking about sort of seven year olds, you know, who knew the song from beginning to end. I mean, that was, what, seven, eight years ago. Uh -huh. Now they're just about at voting age, you know? Right. And hopefully you feel that uh, that message has continued to, to live in their hearts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's, that's a great reward, I would say, for an artist. But let's speak about this uh, new record that you're putting out and this song being a precursor. Um, are we expecting a record full of peace songs or it is a jumble in there? It's, there's not a political song in sight on the new record. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like I've, I've said, other than this peace message for now, I feel I've, I've addressed a lot of social justice messaging, you know, and I feel in a, in a sense I've said what I want to say mm -hmm. about that. Um, so this record is a very personal record. It's a very introspective record. At the end of the day, it's a record about love. It's a, left, a record about passion. It's a record about destruction and restoration, mm -hmm. you know. I've been through a lot, you know, um, and uh, I've, I've, I've come out on top, you know. Uh, me and my wife I, uh, and, and, uh, and my family were in a wonderful place, you know. And so I just wanted to write a record that would reflect all the things that, that, that mm -hmm. I and that we have been through. Right, and hopefully uh, but we can take a look at one or two songs later on, um, but still focusing, of course, on the more important issues of peace and social justice, like you mentioned.